is Super Tuesday. Tennessee and several other states are voting for their choices for the Republican and Democratic presidential candidates. There also are local races on your ballot. 10 News reporter Olivia Dagg is at a polling place in North Knoxville. And Olivia, how has the turnout looked so far where you are? Hey, Brittany, I'm at Gresham Middle in Fountain City, and I spoke to a poll worker that said, Turnout today at this location has been pretty steady. Around 150 people have voted. It's around noon right now, and they're expecting around 300. They're hoping for more all day today. So some things that you need to know if you haven't uh, cast your ballot yet. In East Tennessee, polls close at 8 Eastern time, 7 in Central time in places like Cumberland and Fentress County. If you're in line by that time, you need to stay in line. You can still vote. You'll also need to bring a valid form of photo ID like your driver's license and you have to vote in your precinct. Another reminder, don't wear any clothing that endorses a specific candidate. Now let's talk ballots. Everywhere across Tennessee, you'll pick to vote in the Democratic or Republican primary. The Democratic ballot is pretty short. The Republican ballot is much longer and in one section, you'll vote for up to 14 delegates at large. You'll vote for three in the second congressional district. Make sure you're looking at how many people you can vote for in these sections, because if you fill out too many, your entire ballot won't count. Some of the key races we're watching in the Republican primary for Knox County School Board District 3 in District 8, that person will immediately fill an empty seat. And some of the county commissioners in districts 1, 4, 5, 6, 8, and 9 also were voting for the assessor of property and law director. Now in the Democratic primary, there's only one contested race for Commission District 1. Now, I know that was a lot of information, but we have all of that online at WBIR.com. For now, I'll send things back to you, Brittany. Olivia, thank you so much.